Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video I will take a look at how to use the Avada tagline box element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok let's begin. The tagline box is one of the original elements with Avada. It's a useful element that allows for a box with a tagline, a description, additional content area and a button, so it's quite versatile. Obviously you can create content like this manually using multiple elements, and in that way have full flexibility. But elements like this are particularly good for beginners who just want quick content. Let's look at an example of this element. I've imported the campaign pre-built here, and on the home page, right under the hero section here, I will recreate this banner container with the tagline box element instead. Before I delete this, I'll create my tagline element so we can compare the two. So under this I'll add a 1-1 container, and add a bit of padding, and then I will add the tagline box element. As you can see there is a general tab, a design tab, and an extras tab. The first option we see is content alignment. This relates to all internal content of the box, and as you can see here you can choose from left, right, or center. I'll just leave this on left. Next comes a button link option. You don't have to have a button. But if you do add a link, I'll just enter a dummy link, we get a few new button related options underneath. The first of these is button text, which displays on the button. I'll add the same text in here as is on the button above. Following this option is the link target, which controls how the link opens. A modal window anchor option is next if you want the button to open a modal. Then we come to the tagline title. Here I will add your voice, our priority. And you can even add simple HTML to this, so I might just add the strong tag to the first part. Yeah, that looks good. Under this is the tagline description, which sits below the title. Here I will add, let's shape the future together. If you need further content, there is an additional content option with a full editor. So these tagline boxes can have all sorts of content if you need it. There's no guarantee that every element will work in here as it's not really designed for that. But I think I will add the icon that's in the example above. I will just edit that, and adjust the alignment to the left, and on the design tab, I will just change the icon color to color 5, both on the normal state and the hover state. So now I can just copy that, revert the changes I made through the history tab, and then edit the tagline element again, come down to the additional content field, and now paste my copied code in. Voila! Ok, below this is the usual element visibility option which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. Let's now move to the design tab. The first option is a full typography set. I don't think I need many changes here, but I might just change the font color to color 4. Ok, next up is the description font size. I might just up this to 24 pixels. Content font size is next, and I don't need that here. The next option is the background color. You can make these boxes blend in or stand out by choosing your background color. Here it's color 2, but I'm going to change this to color 3, and I'm also going to add a small amount of transparency to this as well. We'll see why at the end. The next option, shadow, places a shadow under each side of the box to give it a three-dimensional field. Here it has been set to no, but I'll just set it to yes so you can see the effect. Yeah, I think I like that. When you do have a shadow, there is another option for the shadow opacity for fine tuning of the effect. I think I will put this down to 0.4. Then there's the border size. This is set to 1 pixel, but if you want, you can have it all the way up to 20 pixels for a bold effect. And of course, you can control the border color as well. The default on this pre built is transparent, but if I just set it to color 7, you can see it's different to the actual highlight border. I think I'll just reset this. The next option, as we can see, is highlight border position, as a tagline box typically has one side of the box highlighted to stand out. This can be top, bottom, left, right, or if you want, you can turn the highlight off entirely. The highlight color is taken from the primary color of the site. I think I will set this to the top. Under this, there is an option for button size. This is on default which as the description says, this uses the global button defaults. Alternatively, you can choose a specific size. 
There's also a button type option if you want to change that, and a button border radius option to control the corners of the button. I might just add 20 pixels top left and bottom right. Penultimately, there's a tagline box padding option for controlling the padding inside the tagline box. The final option under this is the margin option, where you can control the margin above and below the tagline box. I don't want a bottom margin here, so I will set this to 0 pixels. Finally, there is the Extras tab, allowing you to animate the load of the element on the page. Animations are common to many elements, so if you want to understand these further, please see the links below the video. OK, that's the tagline element, but I'm still not quite finished. Remember I added some transparency to the background colour? That's because I want to add an image to the background. There's no option for that in the element, but if I go to the Column, Background, and Background Image, I will add an image here. I will choose this one, and set the position to Centre Top, and the background size to Contain. OK, there's my new political banner made with the tagline box element. It's not necessarily better than the other one, it's just different. With Avada, choice is what we're all about. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket, and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.